Today, the world was rocked by the assassination of Dr. Gregor Hoffman, founder of the Chernobyl Panel on Scientific Ethics and inventor of the embryonic rescue process, which has saved countless at-risk fetuses. He was gunned down by resistance fanatics as he worked in the critical care unit of a Seattle hospital. Another fine example of the resistance's regard for humanity. Back to you, Trina. So the sergeant was a spy, but maybe this means that our luck will change now. We need all the good luck we can get, that's for certain. But you know, between you and me, Tin Man, I hope Central sends a replacement for Major Vargas soon. She's a good enough officer, but she seems rather preoccupied lately, you know? I received your inquiry concerning your origins. We have searched all consortium source files that we have access to, as well as all resistance databases concerning the information you discovered in Dr. Hoffman's lab. As of yet, we have found nothing to prove or disprove that you were genetically engineered. It could be that this experiment was implemented after your service with the consortium began. I shall notify you if we learn anything further. Keep up the good work, Captain. Maxis out. The good news just keeps on coming, Captain. Central has finally broken that cipher chip you brought back, and our worst fears have been confirmed. The consortium has almost completed work on an orbital command center called the Vigilance Platform that controls a number of strategically placed weapons satellites. Central has learned that the plans for the platform and a list of target cities are being kept at the Kimball Security Facility. Cardova will lead a strike team to take out the teleport screen. An informant will give you an access card to get onto the level where the plans are being kept. If you have any further questions, check your data link. Once Reeves downloads the plans, he'll handle your extraction. Good luck, Captain. <laughs>